the Nikki Glaser podcast. Here's Nikki. Hello, here I am. Billy is a sex slave. Billy is a sex <laughs> still? slave. No. Yeah, she's still a sex she's slave. Yeah. Sarah Lee and his dog Billy is still a sex slave. Sorry to everyone who doesn't know what the fuck I'm talking about. I don't even know what the fuck I'm talking about. Welcome to the show. It's the Nikki Glazer Podcast. Here with us today is Anya and Noah joining from remotely. And then in studio, special guest, comeback star, uh, you you love her. She's hopping train. She's stealing (laughs) things. She's um, she speaks Russian. She is writing on her pants. She um, doesn't like eye stuff. (laughs) What other phobias do you have? Um, Yeah, she doesn't like eye stuff. That's one of her phobes. Uh, It's Taylor McGraw, everyone. She's back. Better than ever. Best friend from where did when did we meet? Tree Court in middle school, middle eighth grade, school. yeah, nineteen ninety eight. At a, how did our the swim two of you become club? friends? Great swim question. Club? You just hit it. Yeah, off? swim club called Tree Court. Yeah, I don't know. We were on the same swim team in the summertime. And I remember you had really cool like bell bottoms. Really? They were what? flares, but like oh my back god, then they were pretty big. I in the 90s. oh my god, they were so cool. They still so cool. intimidate me when I see a girl with a perfectly cuffed like the the bell bottom has to like right now i'm wearing bells and they're like flooding and it makes me want to (laughs) hurl myself in front of a train that taylor is sleeping on i hate when bells are like slightly like like uh, i mean a quarter i mean an eighth of an inch too high and it's disgusting yep, but if yep. you get it's yippy kippy skippy yippy skippy we don't know why we called it that but back in the day we used to call it yep yep kip kip yippy kippy if like someone's pants were flooding or skeet <laughs> we called it skeet really too, yeah. i never called it skeet maybe that was like a knifer thing my i don't know yeah you went to knifer middle school i went to north but anyway um flare jeans do you know what i'm talking about you got noah and anya you definitely lived through this time of like there has to Noah has perfectly flared jeans too, like because Noah's what? legs are sh- on the shorter side. I'm guessing for pants, so you're always gonna have you're. They're never gonna be yippy kippy on you, and I'm always <laughs> I'm so jealous of that. And I know that long legs are you're probably jealous of long legs, but there's something about the flare when it perfectly cuffs over the shoe and it doesn't hit the floor. But if it does, it's kind of cool because there's like a little bit of a fray on it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that. Yeah. Can't be but afraid. you can't be stepping on the fray. No, and it can't be like peeling off. But it it, it can be a little bit dusted. Like, <laughs> you know, I have stylists, and there's such exact rules for like everything. Like, why those? Sh- I'm always like, why don't these shoes work with this outfit? Like, I don't get why is this length of skirt not good with this? I don't understand the rules, and it bothers me mm. that there's things, that, but there's, with flares, do you guys agree that flares are just, when we switch over to skinny jeans, they can be ankle, they can be up to your fucking, they can be culottes. Skinny <laughs> jeans, you can mess with the length a little bit more, but with yes. flares, it has to be perfect. I just yeah. wouldn't wear flares at all. Why? I don't think, I, I, agree. I don't think they would work. I don't think I would Avoid. Look cute. Wait, boy, no, boy, flares boy. are the most flattering jeans there were. You never wore flares in no. high school? Oh, yeah, big time. Of course you did. Yeah. But now you Remember wouldn't. Remember they were like low-rise Actually, low they would be flares. flattering. Yes, low-rise, oh, yeah. And Noah, you also have a good low-rise body because no, you have thanks. a good... Sorry, I'm like objectifying <laughs> you. Now I have a good high-rise body. It's not good low-rise. <laughs> <laughs> no, you do have a good low-rise body still. Some people have good... Um, uh, I used to have a good low rise body. Because what do I have? You have um, be- you need to High have waist. big hips for a low uh, a good yeah. low rise body, you have to, and you have hang. to have like a, a flat stump, like a stomach. Like I used to have no love handles. When those show up, sorry, yeah, low rise. For you. <laughs> what are you You're doing? Out. You're gonna get a ticket. Yeah, you have to have this Britney Spears. I'm a slave for you, fucking torso. That is only <laughs> achievable you when you before you start dieting and after. Like, there's this perfect body you have before you start being aware that you need to have a perfect body. Does Does anyone else agree with that? Yeah, Unless you're that's... suffering from childhood obesity, there's this thing that happens as soon as you start dieting. Your body is hell. It's a two-week And then you have window. no control over it. <laughs> but before you realize that things, that foods are fatty and bad, and you're just eating when you're hungry, yeah. and not, like, 
You have a perfect body. You got to look at pictures to find when it was too. Yeah. And, and then a lot of us don't know when it was because we started dieting right at puberty before our body even figured out what it was. But it's so true that like your body is was, a wonderland. Yeah, I mean John Mayer <laughs> said it best. It's a pedophile wonderland. Tongue. <laughs> Ew. So Bubblegum tongue. Candy lip. Disgusted me. So disgusting. Ooh, today <laughs> I went to the dentist and she was like. You have a bubble gum tongue. No, she didn't say that, but she almost did. <laughs> she was doing my favorite part of the dentist is when they scrape. I sometimes do it. Sorry, they they get that little tool that looks like Captain Hook, oh, the hook. and they get in and they scrape uh, behind your bottom teeth and they get in those crevices and they scrape the plaque off. I mean, sometimes I watch YouTube videos of it. It's so satisfying oh, when they do like homeless me. men's mouth. I would love to get your plaque. Oh my God, please. I have one of those. I have a tool. Oh, I would plaque you up so well. I would love Plackers. it because even today I was like wanting to ask her, but I didn't want to get into it because I wasn't in a talking mood. But I was like, if I was a little bit more social right now, I'd be like, is it fun to scrape plaque? Like, what is it like? Oh, like it would be so fun. I want Colin to let me do it. But I knew it would be a longer talk than I wanted to have. So I didn't say anything, but afterwards i was like feeling it with my tongue because after they scrape all that plaque off it just feels kind of cool down it feels like, like emptier sandpaper. down there well well yeah maybe a little bit but it just feels like you get some of these chunks off these little like sometimes they're white or sometimes they're like so off satisfying. yellow and you mm. feel the. and she said isn't it cool that you can feel even though it's microscopic amounts of something you can feel the difference with your tongue like mm -hmm. you feel that she was like every time i have it done i feel down there i'm like oh, so much space mm -hmm. and she goes the tongue it's a wild little creature, that tongue. And I was like, oh, the tongue oh, wow. is a wild creature. What? Have you ever looked in the mirror and just had your tongue go like, eh, and like dart to the side? It looks like a groundhog looking for like <laughs> shit. Like you can make your tongue look like a nervous rodent. Like, look, watch. <laughs> I was just thinking, like checking what? for. When you talk, you had to talk like this. What do you, what? Do you think anyone talks like this? People that don't have control that of their tongue or if like they're that. paralyzed tongue. We used to have a person on the show that talked like this sometimes. What? <laughs> <laughs> he had a lazy tongue. Oh. But that's the, the funny thing about <laughs> Andrew having a lazy tongue back in the day is that when I'm taking voice lessons now, your tongue is the thing that gets in the way of your voice more than anything. Mm, I mean, tension is number change. one, probably tension in your body and tension in your throat. But now that I'm learning like the logistics of your voice, your tongue when you're singing is supposed to be lazy. I think Andrew could be one of the best singers. <laughs> in, be I'm not even kidding you. If we if we were closer, like I would tell Pavarotti. him start taking. Uh, yes, because he he always he would always say I have a lazy mouth, and it's so funny because now <laughs> my teacher is like, there's like some kind of Italian phrase like noto toce but the dente, and it's like nothing below the teeth, and it's supposed to mean like deadness beneath the teeth to sing properly nothing should be moving mm. everything should be soft and like lazy so um morte dente eh. morte <laughs> yeah it's like no nocho de de soto dente it's there's some Good soto night. in it it's like no no soto dente and it's like nothing and that's what uh, you know opera singers talk about but he i think andrew could have an amazing <laughs> voice because i was like in this because i can't relax You've my tongue heard it well his tone to his tone is not good but in terms of his um like, like he's a little tone deaf oh. but his uh the sound because your your tongue interferes with your sound going up and <laughs> shooting up into into the caverns of your head so all the sound you hear from like Adele, it's not coming from her chest. It's not coming from, it's coming from up in her head and in her nose. What? I know, it's fucked up. She better nitty And some pot. people just know this. Some people just, <laughs> like Anya's just a naturally good singer. She never had to like learn how to deaden her tongue. She just does it naturally. Because you your sound Anya? is so good. No, I am not having a good day with my voice. Really? Yeah, sexy. Matt posted you a video. You already sang today? And I was like, Oh God, uh, really? my harmonies are off. And I was just like very depressed about it. I was like, is that me or is that is Hillary? Because Hillary and I were both singing on this song and he posted mm -hmm. it just now. And I listened to it 11 times because he was uploading it and trying to edit it. And I was like, this is Chinese water torture. I If I hear myself one more time, like trying to reach that note, it definitely threw me into a shame spiral. Well, I can Aww. tell you right now that you have a naturally amazing voice and everyone Thanks. knows it. Yes. Everyone. Everyone. There's no doubt about it. It's just so naturally perfect. 
Um, but it's yeah, you thank have you. a I'm naturally thank lazy you with a mouth. dead tongue. Um, <laughs> thank you. I've never heard you be off key in my life. I'm gonna have to listen to this. Is it so he's uploaded it so we can all go listen to you be off key? Uh, everybody sure. can go. I bet you go. anything. <laughs> Every natural go. Yeah, go ahead. Everybody There's can. no yeah. way he would have no posted admission. it if you it's sounded free. horrible. There's natural lines. I could play it for you right now. It's so bad. Really? <laughs> I don't know. There's, I bet yeah. we wouldn't notice. I think you're being a perfectionist about it. But yeah. yes, right. I get it. Or you're just having a bad day and this is yes, just sticking at that you. That can happen as well. Because why would Matt post something where you sounded bad? <laughs> I don't know. And I don't, don't know if it was bad. me or someone else. You're in a stubborn position. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> okay, see if this sounds bad to you. Thank you for playing. It's coming. Hold on. Coming, hold on. I'm fine there. Here it comes. Okay, it's not as bad I don't as I think thought. It was but there you, are two first notes, of all. two notes in there. Yeah, there's are two clamors. notes, and that's actually a really hard note to find. And it's not like you rehearsed that song <laughs> a fucking ton. I did not notice, and it sounded amazing before <laughs> that. And it was good. literally two notes, and it. I didn't even actually, I, unless you were telling me when it was coming and where to listen, I would have never noticed. And honestly, well, I don't you. think I it was, was you. I was just as nervous now as if you were to ask me about World War One. <laughs> <laughs> that felt like, like World War One. Who was fighting? <laughs> ah, <laughs> that I was knew the it, blitz. I knew it. Wait, is the blitz? No, no, no. It did it all. It was actually amazing. Um, <laughs> we were pretty the, good yesterday. We were wait, not the that blitz bad. was part of World War One too, right? Wait, do you know about World War One? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> Matt was here. Matt, my uh, brother-in-law, my my my, my brother's was? husband, was. Here. Does he know <laughs> about it? World War One. Is he a buff? No, no one knew. We did another football. Yeah. Thing. Please do another one. I want to do. Well, one. You want to do dates. one? You want to like do one right anything. now? Okay. Well, Hollis suggested one on the girls' chat today. Chess. We could just do chess really oh. quick. Do you know chess? Oh, no. oh Bobby Fischer. Yeah. <laughs> I, I know chess. Oh no. But what I are you gonna ask? Taylor gets offended. <laughs> no. Like, <laughs> why would you ever? Would I know well, chess? I just learned you know Russian, so I don't, <laughs> I don't really. Know that maybe well. I would think maybe those German. two would intercept. Um, okay. Um, I know. I know how to say I'm a les- lesbian whore <laughs> in German because Taylor taught it to me at Tree Court back in the swim lesson days. Well, I don't remember. Ich bin ein lesbian schnut. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. I didn't even remember that. <laughs> lesbian. Yeah, lesbian schnut. I don't I mean I don't know if that's right. Schnute, that's what you told me. Is like, yeah, I think that's like a Okay, so chess. <laughs> we got a rook. We got a uh uh we the pawn. rook can move like a soldier. Straight, like um yeah, pawn. Uh, I, don't well, so, I don't think that's called a soldier, but I think the I rook might be there's a horse head. The queen. Oh, You're trying to rook? trap the queen. The queen is the one that if you she dies, then the game is over. Check. Mate. Checkmate is when you're like, I've got your queen and you're like fucked. Um and the queen like, I know has, like, I can all take the your moves. queen. She's got all the moves. Yeah, the king is yeah, lazy. Queen can go anywhere. The king he is lazy. Yeah. He's like yeah, I think a the king can man. move like a cu- couple, like two or something. I think he's there's the one stupidest. that can move like a Tetris. You know, one of those Tetris that's oh, like yeah. long and then short, so it can move <laughs> like three up and two to th- and one to the left. That's the horse. That's the horse, right? I think and that's called the. Is rook. that a rook? Okay, I think no, that's what the, the rook castle's is. The castle's the rook. Oh yeah, the castle. Oh right, is the rook. The rook can go like crookedy crook. I maybe. live next to nearby the world chess hall of fame yes and there is a there? huge huge salt and pepper shaker that is probably a rook out front it's like the biggest <laughs> chess piece there is but it looks like a salt and pepper shaker um, or it looks like a pepper grinder rather um no yeah i have been in there i haven't actually been to the museum but i've been to the gift shop to get some toys mm. for the kids um so that's us trying to explain chess yeah world so war one we really flubbed it i, I mean we didn't know what even, it was about I think pearl We'd, harbor maybe n- no, yeah, that's wait. No, that was no. Jap- the Japanese, and that was World War. That was World War. That was, no, that was, that was World War Two. Two. Okay, yeah. yeah see, wait. I don't. 
Fuck. Okay. World War we should take Nazis. Pearl Harbor too. Oh my god. No. This podcast is just turning into fucking hell. <laughs> it's just every Nobody. every subject is like what we don't know. People Wait, are so I have, sorry I have a follow up question from yesterday. I have a follow up okay, question please. from yesterday. That I need closure on the yeah. chance the rapper thing. Like when did that happen? Okay. What Thank is you the so story much. behind okay. that? So this week, this last week, I went to L.A. for um, I got asked to be a part of this pilot that is really fun. Uh, it was not my pilot. It, I was just asked to be like a celebrity panelist kind of thing on it. And one of the people on the show, Ch- someone in Chance the Rapper's family was on the show and we didn't know it was Chance the Rapper. Do you know who Chance the Rapper is, Taylor? No. Say it like you, like I just asked you. No. Do you know what Ch- okay, thank you. That's better. <laughs> 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 okay Hell so no. we were trying to guess who this person was all we know is that they're a rapper's mom she looks like him kind of and i know what chance the rapper looks like i've not do i know one song no do i know where he's from no we know she's the mother of we've asked enough questions that we know she's the mother of a rapper from chicago well i know kanye's mom is dead as a doornail <laughs> so i knew that wasn't it and then so this mom and i know what kanye's mom looks like and i don't know other rappers from chicago i'm sorry so sorry everyone but then i go do you look like your son because i was you can ask yes or no questions and i was like do you get told you look like your son and she was like yes and i was like looked at her really hard i was like because chance is hot he's like a cute big Mm -hmm. smile really cute looking guy and um and i don't know if he's from fucking chicago and uh and all black people look alike to me so i was you know (laughs) it was it could have been anyone don't stop please but that did cross my mind to be like can i even ask if you look like your son or is someone gonna call me racist for you know what i'm saying (laughs) but she did she did look like her son so in my head i go it's chance the rapper or chase the rap i don't know which one why would i if i don't know this art like i'm sure someone who's a chance the rapper fan is probably like yeah uh taylor swift like would probably not know like Paul McKisney no. or something. I don't know what I'm talking. Like I know this is turning. You know what I mean? Like or like they. The, those are two bad examples because they're very well known. But like let's say Bonnie Rhett. Someone might say that, and then to someone else, Bonnie Raitt is like, "You don't know Bonnie Raitt," <laughs> but it's like, no, I don't. I don't know yeah, Bonnie. You, you don't know, know it because you don't. It's know okay it. if you do. So my thing is, so I guessed, and I knew it was between Chase and Chance, and, and I you knew took a Chance. I took a chase oh. and I fucking <laughs> said chase the rapper and you would have thought I spit in this woman's face. You would have thought you I knew had what a, he looked a, like though. That's a, a fucking, you know, uh KKK uh hood on. <laughs> you would have like you would have thought I said the most like people couldn't believe it. I don't even know. Everyone reacted like, "Oh, we're going to cut that." And I go, don't. Because then as soon as everyone reacted, I go, I mean, chance. Is it chance? I'm like, why is it? You know what the difference between me and everyone in the audience goes, I can't believe she said that. You motherfucker, half of you didn't know if it was chase or chance either. Okay. Yeah. And the (laughs) difference between you and me is that I actually did think I know that I'm going to get ridiculed if I get this wrong. And there's a 50-50 chance I get it wrong. Because I knew it was either chase or chance. I'm going to take a chase and pick one. (laughs) <laughs> and so I, I picked Chase and it was wrong. And I thought, maybe I don't even, because it could go on to the next person. I had like 10 seconds left. I could have wasted it by being like, do you like your son's music? Like I could have asked some dumb question. But instead I guessed because I knew I was right in some way. But most people I think would just not say anything because they don't want to yeah. look stupid. And that's the difference. And I didn't do anything wrong by saying, I literally wouldn't let them have it. I'm like, I'm not going to be embarrassed by that at all. Yeah. I'm not. What? You would have so thought, weird. but everyone was just like, that was so embarrassing. That I'm like, okay. his mom doesn't mind so that okay. a fucking Taylor Swift number one fan doesn't know who her son is. Yeah. You knew what he looked like. That's yeah. something. I know. Who would yes. ever know that? I knew his. I said, does he have a the in his name? You know, I like knew. Uh, it's like, so sorry. But I got a chance to rep her hat. Right. And I'm wearing that shit now. And I I wore it in front of Chris. Chris was like, "Do you are you a f- fan of Chance?" And I was like, "You mean Chase?" <laughs> <laughs> but have you ever just not known something and Every been day. scolded for it? And like people just this is the new thing is like if you don't 
you, you should just stay quiet if you don't know something because otherwise you're going to look like an idiot. When really, I was smarter than most of the people there that didn't know of him at all. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I could have played it like I didn't know him at all to survive, to preserve how cool I am. Speaking so it wasn't of cool, the I mom got a cool that- fucking down. No, the mom didn't give a fuck. The mom right. didn't give she a fuck. Never, she yeah. was so it was, sweet. It's just, it's white people being like, oh, I think yes. we should find a way to be offended. And yes. because also she's talking that there's a black woman in here. Yes. And like somehow this could be bad and we want to make sure it looks bad in case she's offended. No one has ever been offended by something like that. Yes. Like ever. Thank you. They just want to be like Also, they're so proud of themselves for knowing Chance the Rapper. Yeah. And they didn't. They're, yeah. They're like, and I, I know a black person. And I'm, I I'm guilty of this when someone doesn't know something and I go, you didn't know that. But if you would have asked me first, I probably wouldn't have known it either or it would have been 50-50 for me. You know when you like shame someone about something that because you yeah. also feel that way. Yeah, I've done it. Project. So I get projections. And there another one happened on the show too, and I'm going to talk about that right after this. That was also equally annoying to me. But I actually had a great time with the show, and it's it's a wonderful show. I was happy to do it. The host was the amazing. I'm not going to give away who it was, but I think I I just uh I just I I had a great time all day. That moment really set me back though. We'll be uh I'll have another story <laughs> for you when we get back. Okay, we're back. So the other thing that happened was there was like this old guy on the show that he was one of the people that were like trying to guess so who you're he is. So you guessing who people are. Okay. Okay. I don't want you to see what the name of the show is, much. but they Oh, I heard you talking about <laughs> yeah. this to that guy. So they yeah to the i think yeah oh Ozzie yeah because you were there yeah yes ozzy day so this is the guy Yay. he asked me okay, to do cool. that pilot that night that yeah. we met ozzy smith and you stole ozzy smith's water bottle and we don't licked know where that it. is Nikki L- licked it. <laughs> i did take a drink of it didn't i like just, in front of everyone and yeah. they were like because the i was trying fuck? to be funny and everyone was just like you're gross i'm like i don't really think ozzy smith's backwash is something i want in my mouth i thought it would be a funny bit <laughs> i did want john mayer's backwash though when we did that did you do that with us did you see John Mayer yeah. at Mississippi Nights yeah. in like 2000? Yeah. What did we do? And we stole his water bottle and we sw- swigged it. Yeah. And there was just a little oh, bit yes. left and we I all remember. around a circle oh, swigged yeah. some like, of it because we were sure like, we, all got it. we got his backwash because <laughs> there's definitely John Mayer DNA up in that. Yes. For sure. I did that to um, Jeff Goldblum too. Oh, yeah. When you shared his trailer. Yeah, what's I forgot what show I was, in I was San doing. San Francisco at that festival. Oh yeah, we we're yeah the Outside Lands, Out Bad Lands Festival. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so <laughs> there was this there was this old guy who you're we trying to guess what he was about. And at one point, I said something like, "Oh, <laughs> okay, <laughs> this was funny. His name was Josh. He was in his 80s, and his name was Josh. So my question, which I think is hilarious, was, Are you the oldest Josh?" <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking that, that's, like, oh, old Josh. Who, I don't even know of a Joshua that's old. Like, Josh is a yeah. youngish name it of like is. everyone in the 90s, not people in their Josh 90s. Hartnett. Yeah. Jo- Heartthrob. Josh was not a common name when this guy was born. It was definitely like he was the first. So everyone laughed, and I go, <laughs> Because, but then they got offended. Like, oh, you're saying he's old, and I go, he's clear. He I go, you're the <laughs> oldest Josh I know, and everyone's like, oh, she said the old word, and I go. I go, he knows he's old, everyone. <laughs> this man is literally 87. I go, he's an old man. He's a good looking old man. He's thriving. He's awesome. He's on the show. And then the audience does their little, ooh. And I'm like, he's an old guy. And and they're still ooing. And then I get on my fucking, I'm like, I can't have this. I go, just because we live in Hollywood and aging is the worst thing that could ever befall. We're all going to be old someday, everyone. It's not. A, I'm not saying he's a bad person because he's old or worth less because he's old. He's just old. It's just a fact. And people just got, they just couldn't believe it. And then this afterwards, everyone you was like, with the audience. I'm not yeah, kidding you. I, I turned that. on the audience because I was just, and, and all the producers and all the panelists I was with that were like, oh, Nikki, you're calling him old. It's like, we need to, as a society, get on board with being able to call out what is literally in front of us. Yeah, it's so annoying. You can't call someone old. It old is bad. Since when is old bad? It's because well, I understand why it's bad because you get unfuckable and no one wants to fuck you anymore, so you don't <laughs> no one cares about that Some you exist anymore. Do. Yeah, and those people have mental conditions because it's not you can't procreate with an old person, so it's weird that you'd want to fuck it. Yeah, I guess it's a paraphilia then. Uh, what does that mean? I think like if if 
if it's not for procreation. Well, why? You but then you, you get into gay things, and then you go, well, that's paraphilia. It used to be. I mean, they just it, took it out in the seventies out of the out of the DSM. The DSM. Oh my god, that's my joke. I used to. I have a joke that says. Men, don't be scared of therapy. They're not going to diagnose you as gay. They just took it out of the DSM in 96. <laughs> but it, it got took it out of the DSM and taken out of the DSM in the 70s? Actually, maybe it was 96. I think it was like, I make it. I make a joke that, as late as I think it could go. Uh-huh. Like I'm exaggerating, but the 70s seems late for that as well. Yeah. I don't but, know um, actually when it was. But yeah, like just, I guess you can't call a woman old. I think calling a man old is, but I just, I want it to be more acceptable. I'm really leaning into whatever this trait is of mine that's just like just saying what's honest yes bill good. burr really inspired me this these clips i've been seeing on instagram he's just so honest and he's not being mean about anything he's just being like you do you fucking do you know like it's sorry if something is you can say that it is you're it doesn't mean you're being mean yeah and i like that and for some reason bill burr gets away with it but there's a little bit of a like th- I'm sure that he he went through a stage of like people being like what the fuck you can't say that so maybe I'm just going through that stage yeah. of like earning audiences r- respect enough that they let me say what is true and even if I think what is what's true for me it's still true for me it's not a th- I can have thoughts and not go to prison for them yeah and you, there yeah. aren't thought crimes yet. This isn't 1984. <laughs> They're trying to make it that way. I mean, yeah. honestly, and, and I'm not someone who rallies against oh, r- cancel culture, but I'm starting to because it's just it's people kiss. are so offended cancel by culture. everything. People want to be offended. I'm they offended sometimes because they're projecting because they they you wouldn't get offended unless you knew you were thinking something like that because you, you then you're like that inside <laughs> yes. me. I don't want that to happen. Like if you say. Uh, who's your Asian friend there last night? People would be like, oh, you, you couldn't say that she had the one with the green dress? Like, yes. no, she's Asian. She's the only Asian one. Yes, you know? I know. And people go like, oh, why? what's within you making you get weird about And also, it? how do you not see that she's Asian? I like, I don't see Asian. Don't well, see then you need to get color. your eyes checked because it's a different look and it's kind of obvious. <laughs> a different look. It is. <laughs> It, not, different meaning no, it's different than anyway. black people look l- like i'm sorry col- people who don't see color i mean this has been done this has been discussed before when people say i don't see color it's like well then, then you're wh- stupid wh- then you, <laughs> you're, i don't understand what we're talking you're lying about yeah also, then you're lying, you're lying. <laughs> um but the difference is you can see differences in people and that's fine but you can't be moralistic about it. Like I can't, if I say someone's old, it doesn't mean that I think they're less than me or worse than, a, if I say someone's ugly, it doesn't mean that I think they're, they should be killed. <laughs> but that's what people associate it with. Like this yeah, week, did I talk that's about nubs? For people to uh, well, add. ugly is not a nice word Bubs? to say because, well, you can say unattractive, but even people go, whoa. <gasps> No, they're yeah. beautiful. And you go, what? Inside and out. No, oh, that yeah. person's eye is hanging out of their head. <laughs> I just uh-huh. they, have a, they have a mole with like a, a mane of hair coming out of it on their chin. <laughs> I don't like those. They oh, have yes. like, oh, their other eye is weeping some ooze. They are not attractive. Stop <laughs> they're lying. They're not going to procreate. I look in the mirror every morning and think I'm an uggo. So I put myself in that category too. Don't think, think that I think I'm better. Um, but uh, like this, did I talk about Nub this weekend? The guy with no hand? No, no. Okay, so talking about honestly, like I'm into if people are in wheelchairs or not necessarily wheelchairs, but like if someone has no arm, I'm asking you what happened. Yeah. If I'm meeting you, if I come up and I try to go in for your it a handshake and you have no to. arm, you would think, you would think it would be weird, people but it is the norm. They don't see it? No, I met this guy so this weekend. Kind. He comes up. He has no fucking arm all the way up. He has maybe a little bit, maybe two inches off his shoulder of an arm. And he comes up and I go to shake his hand. I can't see that he doesn't have an arm yet. And then he gives me the left hand and I go, oh, what happened there? And he didn't say anything. I don't think he even heard me or probably was like, there's no way she asked what happened here. <laughs> so right. then they go, good show. And we're posing for the picture. This is at the, at the meet and greet in Orlando, I believe. And we're posing for the picture. And he's got his nub like touching like around like we're doing like the around the shoulders, but he's not making it all the way around mine, <laughs> you know, because of facts. <laughs> and um, I mean, like, because factually, it just couldn't make it. But it's like we're That's two yeah. inches. It's it over. It. It's like just t- like c- kind of like tickling Tick. my neck, the side of my neck. And um, 
So I said, as we're like, you know, we took the picture and then they're moving on. I was like, what happened? And he goes, what? I go, what happened to your arm? And he goes, you really want to know? Oh, no. He goes, oh, she fucking pulled it off. Like he made a joke at first. He goes, she she didn't like it. She ripped it off to, to his like, oh, the old fucking ball and chain. And I go, what? And I go, uh, and I go, no, what happened? He goes, wait, you really want to know? And I was like, yes. And he was like, I used to be addicted to heroin. I ruined my fucking arm. And I was like, that Whoa. is so interesting. <gasps> that, that's, that's so possible. Cool. Yes, he Damn, ruined his veins. No. He bro- his his arm went fucking dead because oh, that's wow. what he used. And and he's been recovered for men- like I think it was something like three or four years, maybe seven years, something a, a substantial amount. Where I'm like, man, this guy is good to go now. Um, and but you could tell no one ever mm-hmm. asks him because I had to ask him three times before he took me seriously. The first time he thought I wasn't, he didn't hear me. I go, did you lose your ear too? The second time, <laughs> he no did ear. a joke answer because he, and, and it, not followed by the real answer. He just gave a joke thinking there's no way she wants to know. Why can't we ask people if they look, I, I wonder, can some can some uh, besties that have missing limbs or friends of besties with missing limbs, family members, tell us what that experience is and if they get asked by the general public what happened or if it's like you just always at everyone it pretends like you have a phantom limb and it's there they're going in for high fives in the air mm-hmm. and like i think that's american as hell i think ask. it's also I'm but european too because europeans don't hug i mean they're very much like i don't want to they don't talk about their feelings yeah, at all not like yeah not so where British do people. they talk White about people. nubs in the first thing that comes to my mind though Russia. is that maybe it, like some people don't want to recall that event like if, especially if it was traumatic or yeah, trauma. and they just don't want to like talk about mm. it maybe but it's only I gonna agree. take a second and it's not like you, and but they are allowed day. to say that too yeah you can say i don't wait a second you. but so just in the same way that i'd be like to do this comedians are allowed to do this because you're nikki glazer and you are known to for being i would do this and fearless if i wasn't a comedian on. or if i but, met someone out of the circumstances if i was uber driver with one hand i would do it and they didn't know who i, I was. love that you do this but i think when most people try to ask questions that to them seem like this is just a normal thing anyone would want to know it's perceived as being rude like when we ask people are you planning on having a child it's like oh, fuck you do not ask me what i'm doing with my body and my uterus go fuck yourself well, that's like, only if they're struggling really with upset having a baby that. But how would anyone yeah, know? I just say no. Well, that's what I'm saying. That's why, well, you risk getting, so you risk triggering them is what I'm, I, I guess I'm saying. But you risk mm-hmm. that with any question you ask. Do you guys have kids? That is a normal question. And some people take it very offensively because they've spent thousands of dollars and they can't have kids. And it's offensive to them because we all have things that are offensive to us, these personal things. But I think that a lot of times people lose arms and it's, they have to walk around like it's, not there, not there. <laughs> like that, that the thing isn't there yeah. is not there. And I think that, like we're I all would, ignoring I can, it. Yeah, it's maybe awkward. it's a traumatic event where like an ape ripped off your arm and then killed your mom <laughs> at the same time, so it's going to bring back all these terrible memories to to bring it up. In which case, I could say I would totally be okay with someone going like that was. I'd rather not talk about it. And I've had people say that to me before, where I where I go, oh my god. Your friend died in 9-11, like what ha- like uh, more details. And they go, it's just, and I immediately sense it. But I'm going in first. And it's I, and I'm okay. I'm not offended if they get offended at me asking. I don't think I'm a bad right. person for asking. I don't go, oh my God, I asked if they wanted kids. I didn't know. Oh God. I just go, oh, I, I guess I hit no. a nerve. It's fine. Let's move on. Like, I don't think I'm, I don't want to tiptoe around. I'm never going to ask anyone if they want kids the rest of my life because one out of every 400 women might take offense to it. Maybe. I don't know. Right now, I'm feeling very obviously uh, riled up about the kids stuff. So there's, there. as someone who is saying, like, ask anyone anything, there are many things you could ask me that I would be like, fuck you. And I'd really? be allowed to like say what? that, I think. Or not fuck you, but like, Wait. not fuck you, but like in my mind, fuck you. And like to you, I'd rather not talk about it right now. Mm, um, you know, sometimes in my if I'm having a bad time in my relationship and someone's like, oh, my God, tell me about your boyfriend or whatever. I'm just like, I'd rather not. And then tears start yes. welling in my eyes or whatever. <laughs> like, you know, like there's things like that where like anyone would be OK about it or like, um, oh, how's F boy Island going? In my mind, I'm like, it's canceled, but no one knows yet. Uh, and I just, it, 
well, it was canceled by HBO, but don't worry, it's gonna, it's gonna. Oh, find Taylor. <laughs> Taylor just figured Taylor out. Doesn't. Taylor's Taylor more upset than the heroin arm, man. <laughs> <laughs> I can regrow this show on Hulu, but. <laughs> uh, Why would it ever it's like be like a canceled? lizard tail. Everybody loves it. Um, because it costs a lot of money and oh. shows get uh, tax write-offs when they fucking dump shows. Oh. They get, they make money when they, it's this weird thing that was explained to me by someone smarter than me that I couldn't understand. Um, this isn't the podcast for anything maybe not that maybe it'll find a new home right yes for sure i mean i I think without question it's gonna find a new home i'm not worried about it at all because it's a successful show but um but yeah um and also i'm really done letting people i gotta be done letting people get away with animal stuff where they're just like well i love bacon and sometimes i just go like yeah, this isn't my place to get on my fucking grandstand about it. Like, let this person have it. I, and I know you're like, when is when have you ever shut up about vegan stuff, Nikki? <laughs> I hold my tongue so much. I would say I only say something when my when something in my head like clicks off to go like, this is fucked up. That we're wasting animals right now. People are just treating animals' lives flippantly. And they're not even eating the thing that they got because they're like, I don't know. I don't. It has a weird sauce on it. And it's like this fucking chicken's life just like thrown in the garbage at Disneyland because. Oh my God, I never thought of it that way. Well, if you do think like once you, you think send it back and it goes in the trash, that's like yeah. a dead chicken. And that's a chicken that like was like Aww. came out of its egg being like, I'm so excited about life. Instantly <laughs> taken away from its mother, never getting any comfort, never seeing the light of day. Free range. Look into free range. You know it's not free range. You know that they, what they do is they have laws where they're like, we open the barn doors for the chickens. They don't go out because they don't know what outside is. So they technically get away with being free range, but the chickens don't even know need to, know to go outside because I guess they're so stupid and we should eat them. But they, <laughs> so anyway, yeah, they're, I keep my mouth shut 98% of the time about animal stuff, I would say. And I got to make that number fewer because animals don't have voices and that is why vegans exist is to be annoying about it to to move for these cows that don't move because i'm just Mm -hmm. tired of it i read this interview with this i was listening to this interview with this guy from vampire diaries he was on the cover of some vegan magazine i got sent it's like (laughs) this good looking guy from vampire diaries i don't forget his name um but he did this interview on youtube and he was like getting emotional about the scene he did where they were eating like everyone had a steak in front of them and none of them got eaten because of their props. And it's like, why couldn't we use just fake steak for this? So like this whole cow had to die for the stupid scene where no one. And then I was remi- and he Actor Paul Wesley, Paul Wesley. Thank you, girl. Um, so he and I was just like listening to this interview that he had and he was getting emotional about it. And he was like, I I can't stand even thinking right now about all the millions of animals that are just as sweet and as like needing of love as your kitten or your dog. And they're in a cage and they're scared and they just want their mom. Mm-hmm. Like he's, he starts getting emotional. And I was like, I, then I start getting emotional cause I don't think about this stuff at all. And I don't like to talk about it because it is very upsetting, but it's true. It's happening all the time. And I was just like, I remember this one day on F boy where they didn't even air it. They didn't even air it. There was a scene we did where a pig's head was on the table. It was supposed to look like all the guys that had been eliminated from the show were in uh, the good guy grotto, all the nice guys. And they get to go to this castle and they're treated like kings. And we're doing this scene where it's like they're eating this feast and they're treated like kings because they're good guys. And there was a pig head and big turkey legs, all props, none of it consumed. And I got on set and I saw that pig head and I was so upset. And because it was just a pig head. They could have made a fake. There should be fake ones yeah. if they need it. It's not hard to make a fake And it was this real. And then it, it, and also when you see a pig's head, it just looks a lot more like a pig than a fucking cooked piece of meat looks like a pig. And so it was just a reminder. But Paul was saying that he did a scene on Vampire Diaries and he said, I just had to suck it up and do it because what am I going to do? Like, I'm, I'm, you know. I mean, I don't want to say it, but he was like, you know, fourth on the call sheet. So you don't have a say. You can't be like, I'm not doing this scene. Like it's they, they'll fire you. And I felt the same way that day. And I was just so sad all day. But I kind of want to start being louder about that stuff, too, because 
I because the vegans won, man. I was a little bit lenient about it. I've been a little because I don't want to be an annoying vegan. You lose a lot of fans every time I post about it. I lose literally hundreds of people on from my stories. <laughs> they don't want. They they you hate vegans. Like they people hate <laughs> vegans. So I risk losing my career, but I don't care anymore because it's um, it, you know, you got to stand up for what you believe in, and also I just feel like. The vegans got me, and I know that the, they sent me. I did this like um, they were doing an award show, and I had to give an award to this guy who like rescues what they do with um beagles hunting beagles in a lot of places in America is that after hunting season they chop off the beagles' ears for some. I don't even know what they just dump their beagles after hunting season, and they drive off without them, and they leave them in the woods to to die. And they because hunting season no, is they over. Don't um a hundred percent they do. Why the crown they don't because they treat those dogs well. But I'm guessing there's animal abuse on in the crown as well or like in <laughs> within the royal family for sure. I mean they're hunting animals, so there's definitely animal abuse. Um, but it's a common thing that in in I I forget where this guy, but this guy uh goes out and looks for these beagles because they get i mean it's this is i mean look it up no will you google beagles no abandon hunting no. season I'm sorry i'm not <laughs> why I don't, cause, because wait, we need to know uh, first I of all well, we need to know about this because that's the thing if you know then you know and then people can be more aware and go well there's hunting isn't all it's cracked up to be what is this ugly side of it where they abandon the dogs afterwards so anyway i was giving an award to this guy who saved a bunch of these beagles and he rescued beagles from testing labs. I don't know why beagles get such a Aww, shit deal because they are the rude. sweetest looking fucking dogs. Yeah, um, the testing labs. But I gave this award, and for a, because they wanted to give me something because I spent all this time making the speech for this guy. They sent me a box of like all these goodies, but in the box were like four stacked magazines, like vegan magazines. And one day I was just like sitting at the counter, just like mindlessly eating and i was like i'll just flip through this magazine and then i just started like i was like i'm all over again i'm an activist like it really does work <laughs> if you get the message out there so uh, that's why i choose to spend the this last 10 minutes that you all skipped over to talk about it <laughs> but i'm Have it's also not even funny to me anymore that people are like it, oh on your vegan thing it's just like if you looked into it you would be upset about it too i think don't World War One this. Like, know something about it. <laughs> Look about it. Is there it. something that you can do, though, that is, like, more hands-on with, like, the activism? You know what I mean? Because I think you'll yes. find a lot of, like, fulfillment and, commercial. And, and happiness and stuff actually physically. Well, I can't see the abuse. Like, I can read about it, but well, I don't want to see it. You can so work that's with, scary with saved animals, like in a sanctuary, and learn yes. how to tell their stories and stuff. Like, there's got to be plenty of ways for you to, like, really like step outside and challenge yourself and be more physically. I'd rather take my platform and use the time that I have to talk to thousands of people every day to talk about it than go and clean out a dog's cage for my time's sake. But I do understand that I do need to get in there and like get my hands dirty. But that's what I mean, that's the hardest thing about this is like the pictures and like the what you see is just so upsetting. So you just look at it a little bit and then you go, OK, I have to tell everyone. And then you stop thinking about it for two years. And then PETA sends you a bunch of magazines or Mercy for Animals sends you a bunch of magazines and you go, fuck. And the only reason you opened it was because Paul Wesley was on the front cover. And you go, who is this? And then you watch you his clips and you start cover. crying. You, I, I obviously I, I very much should. I was looking at the level of star they get to be on the cover of these. And I'm like, I'm ready for my close up. <laughs> it's like I could definitely get on the cover of Mercy for Animals biannual <laughs> pamphlet. That is a goal. That would you be cool. Can frame it. That'd well, PETA great. did. Do you remember? Um, PETA did ask me to do something one time. <laughs> And I thought oh, it was yeah. going to be their campaign that Pam Anderson, you know, did where it was like, I'd rather go nude than uh -huh. wear fur. And like Olivia Munn has done it. Alicia Silverstone. They all get naked and they get to do this glamorous naked photo shoot that's like really sexy. And it's all like, I'd rather do this than wear leather. And it's like, oh, she's not just being a whore. She's doing it for animals. Mm -hmm. So you have this excuse to be like whorish. And whore, <laughs> I mean that in the good sense, slutty in the good sense, the kind that I want to be. But you always need an excuse to be because women just can't be slutty on their own. They need an excuse. But PETA finally wrote to me one day and they asked me to do it. And I was like, 
yes, it's here. And they were like, we want to do a photo shoot with you where you play a lazy slash tired sheep. <laughs> what? <laughs> Sexy. <laughs> and we put you in a sheep costume and you're talking about how you're funny. About how, like, hey, this is my skin, folks. Stop putting it in your own. Oh, that's like eat more chicken. Yes. Oh, I hate eat more chicken <laughs> so much. Those cows are fucking illiterate. Eat more. She can, why are the cows writing like four-year-olds? <laughs> Truck wrong. Why, the fact that they can even write at all. Why do we make them dumb, too? Why can't we make them intelligent? <laughs> Eat more chicken. <laughs> that is really a weird thing. It's like stop slaughtering us. Slaughter this other species. Yeah. Yeah. The whole campaign we're, is. We're also stupid, but we're like masterminding this. Plot yes. To, yes. For some reason. Baby but steps. I was so sad to. Um, <laughs> I don't think I'd do the PETA naked campaign, though, because it would be too obvious. I've already been too obvious about. Like, it would be. Everyone would know I just want to get naked. And I don't know that it actually makes a statement. That uh, you should pitch that, uh, it to them, like send them that. a full pitch deck. You fully tanned and ready to go. You're like, I already shaved my body. I got to <laughs> Yeah, full I'll just send them like tan. pussy pics <laughs> and be like, I'm ready. <laughs> people are like, it, a picture of my vagina close up would disgust people from <laughs> eating like up. lunch meat ever again. <laughs> It would turn it's people like, off. It could do nice. wonders. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Have you um, ever sent puss pics? No. Wait, me what did you used to Hell sell no. on from Craigslist? On Craigslist, dirty stockings and socks. Yeah. Wait, tell us shoes. how that process worked. Uh, from you your get period? on eBay. From no. your period. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, she uses black socks. Oh her. yeah. Panties <laughs> are good. You can't do it good anymore. Good It sucks. I got on eBay. Flirty feet sixty nine. <laughs> <laughs> that's such Look a perfect argument that, like that wasn't taken i know that's Jesus. really good and uh and i sold i would go to the the thrift store and just get like the you know the bins full of tights and just you know probably steal them because i didn't have any money mm -hmm. um that were just worn by old ladies i wouldn't even wear them sometimes i would just put the it put the like bottom in the foot of the sock right or in the foot of the shoe so it would get stinky mm -hmm. and then i'd mail them out but you had to like you had to flirt a lot be flirty with your feet wait you had to fl wait, what do you mean you'd have to flirt you a lot like to, all, in the messages yeah yeah you had to you had to interact uh, oh. and let them tell your your toes look like suckable shrimps <laughs> <laughs> but s-u-k-k-a-b-l-e <laughs> shrimps with like five H's and R's. That's what I call toes that must be sucked. S U K K E D. <laughs> yeah. How much did you make? I think I got like thirty bucks, and this was in like two thousand five. So. So underwear too. I, I, I you can't you couldn't do underwear. Oh right, that's eBay. probably always like been taken down. But you could like people. If I had returned people, they would hint at it because they can read your messages everything was getting taken down but it was getting taken down by the jealous other stinky foot stars. so they would report you yeah they would the report stinky feet 44 <laughs> yeah <laughs> bad stinky i can picture all of these bitches like you had to stand with like a little dainty like foot in the pictures and so you would and, put like, them on your feet the sock and look like Kind of like 80s. Oh, I look at foot stuff all the time because I'm obsessed with bunions. And like, I want people to just have videos of people pulling people's bunions away from the toe. Like, the, <laughs> like I just want it to be pulled out. And I just, because that's what I want to happen to my foot. Yeah. So all I look for is people just being like, <laughs> I type in bunion massage in YouTube and then look at the most recent video every single night of my life. <laughs> Looking for someone to ASMR. put a video of people like <laughs> massaging someone's bunions. But all they do is they crunch them together. I'm like, no, no. more crunch. Separate them and so there's a lot of foot fetish guys that are obsessed with bunions yes and i i could do a whole bunion like i know exactly what you're talking about where they like yes. they'll like their feet will have like personality yes <laughs> they're like, flirty yeah flirty feet 69 <laughs> and like the, the guys are obsessed with the bottoms they want to see the wrinkles yes. on the bottoms like mm -hmm. the foot pads there's what other things there's, oh there's so many positions like wait yeah, how is this done on craigslist though how would they pay you when Not would you sorry it was, it was ebay i i, I misspoke oh. and then they got rid of that and then i did craigslist too and i had to get a p.o box money okay. oh my god so and they would, would get the payment first and then send them the socks yeah yeah you could do like a package and chat all the while 
chat all the while. Was the chatting part the no- annoying part? Would you be like, oh, God, so this annoying. fucking pervert it was won't funny, stop? But yeah, it was funny. And it was work. like when we used to go in a- AOL. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, I love that shit. I mean, we used to just get who knows who we were talking to, but just horny guys with their dicks out, probably yeah. talking to oh, yeah. you know f- fourteen year olds. Pedophile. Yeah. Pedophile. Yeah. Um, one guy wanted me to, to, he was going to buy me a ticket to England to come into his house and break his legs with a bat <gasps> oh <my God. laughs> and then buy me a ticket back. He was like, we shall not interact. Like we, I, I will I've not touch you. This. I will not talk to oh you. God. Like we'll have so many things in place. So, th- and I was like, fuck, like a free ticket And you ticket think it was real? England. Yeah. I mean, and why you didn't would do you? it? It feels no, like something you would he do. Could kill me for sure. Oh, he could. But it. I heard about this one guy. It's a, a very famous story of a guy that paid someone to come eat him. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah uh, same in England too, I believe. Yeah, they're the crazy fuck is over going there. on over there? Paraphilia. Yeah, I mean, I know their food is bad, but. Um, <laughs> well, okay, Potatoes, so we're gonna yeah. we're gonna go away for just a second, and then come back. I want to like tie this up, tie these stocking, these foot stockings up, but we're going to do Reddit dump when we come back. We have some interesting things to talk about. So stay here. Stay with us. Okay. We're back. Um, yeah, the, the, we were such pervs when we were little. We were, I loved sex stuff and like talking about it, looking we at our it. little boobs. Yeah. I didn't, the, I didn't on the cam. You, you guys did. You I had Kirsten it? be my boob. Oh, you're so we <laughs> boob? we played guess boob the boob. Standing? So we would just do close ups of boobs, and then we would send them to boys from our school because we were the first. Oh, house it was people to... we knew. Oh, uh, sometimes it wasn't. But I remember I Alex Schwartz randoms. definitely, who's the guy that I yelled at. The, if you're list, if you are a bestie that's listened to every episode, he's the guy I yelled at at the Thanksgiving Day parade that was like, "Come to the reunion." So we sent him our boobs, and I it was Huffy me Hala I think maybe you were there, but. Um, I don't and think Kirsten, I did to people we knew because I did one time not want my boob out there. Uh-huh. So I had I was like, Kirsten, will you be my boob? And so we had two of Kirsten's. And <laughs> yeah. And then and then we, we would also ask them, like, who's the prettiest? We would ask strangers. That was so mean. Yeah, we just had them rate us. That's so and mean. And guess who always lost? The red haired friend. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I would. would why, like, why would I subject myself like, right. to hot blonde girls? And I was like, eh. I don't know what I was thinking either, but we would always. Uh, did you guys ever go online and like talk to predators? No. <laughs> of course. I didn't have online growing up. <laughs> but I mean, oh, yeah. you had it in college though, or like in, in, like, in your 20s, the chat room started happening. I would have been into this in my 20s too. I, I was just nerding was... out and going to the library looking up Liz Fair interviews on microfiche. Oh, and right. That's when the internet started. But did you I was ever, like, Ooh. before the internet, I was going to the library and like looking at books about that had pictures of penises and stuff in it or like drawings and stuff. Noah, did you do this? You were perv too, right? Oh, of, yeah. Me and my friend, uh, my one friend growing up, she had illegal cable with access to like the playboy channel and the spice channels so we were watching that oh, all the time yes <laughs> Not and then going the on chat rooms too it was, was so terrified of sex i was kind of a pollyanna i think just like ew what happens it goes inside of your oh, mom's I didn't body know. we, were, we would happened? scream oh, it was so uh, disgusting it was so i would scream gross. too i wasn't like jerking <laughs> off i wasn't getting off to it i was just like morbidly curious i guess yeah and it didn't seem like something i would have to do or i was going to do so it was able to separate we wanted to mess with people because it was like we were shaming them for having sexual impulses a little bit just like like we would shame the wolves yeah Uh, yeah. like in the same as now lupus (laughs) yeah Yeah, nocte (laughs) lupus we that guy is out there somewhere (laughs) where are still suffering from the bullying that we did yeah if anyone out there knows anyone that in 1999 2000 would go in wolf chat on AOL. on AOL and pretend to be a wolf and his name was Nocte N O C T E Lopez Lopez L O P U S Night Wolf Night I'm Wolf <laughs> Yes we relentlessly bullied this guy I mean I'm sh- for we I'm scared he might not be so with us Yeah no, well, the thing is we wouldn't be like you fucking loser we would just we pretend just to be a wolf him. and then we scratch the, him and then the wolf would start like her <laughs> <laughs> the wolf would attack and like our wolves would like just do weird shit to him we, like, and step push on him off a cliff and not say sorry <laughs> oh, he must have loved that loud. he was probably was buying socks from you 
we would like tie his yeah. fucking tail to a bush or something like we would but the, the way you, i know you're like how do you do this you type colon colon <laughs> and that would mean an action okay so like if they want if the wolf was gonna do something it would be colon colon pause at nocte lopez's <laughs> Uh, jowls <laughs> colon colon and then that would be a complete action in the world of this like you know role playing kind of thing to distinguish it from what you were saying yeah and then like, what you were saying was different and then how we, would he respond how did you know the bullying he, was well working? we would create you new again. names <laughs> we would oh. get kicked out you could get yeah, kicked he would out. block us we would get kicked out of the wolf chat then we would do private messaging with some of the wolves in the wolf chat like we would earn their trust <laughs> yeah, enough yeah. yeah we like psychologically and fuck then Dr. <laughs> Lopez he was on my buddy list in college like anytime like because he was still around and we would but I wouldn't I stopped you know we stopped after high school oh. but i would always think of nocte lopez and He's who that person was now yeah yeah i um but yeah i was i was always perving out and like definitely obsessed with sex stuff long before um was having any of it and i really do think that i didn't think i would have to do any of that stuff <laughs> That I would dodge it. And then my friends started doing it. And I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> it's coming. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I did a whole that. special about this. But like when you, yeah, your first friend to like put their mouth on a penis. I'll never forget who it was. I won't say it because she's still a person that exists. But she was my <laughs> she friend die. who was Indian. Do you remember my Yeah. Indian? Yeah. So it was her and it was some other guy. And uh, I remember I just being like, I know she was the first. And I remember crying so fucking hard. You cried. Dude, I sobbed for what? like, and I couldn't In tell my presence? parents. Yeah. Because I was just <laughs> what like, did she said, well, it she would be like soiled. you telling me that She's you soiled. stabbed a homeless man. <laughs> like something I would go, <laughs> why would you dick. first ever do that? Why would you ever do it? It's disgust. Like it would be like you licking a toilet. That is exactly the same thing. Licking a toilet and like all the cool kids are licking toilets. Toilets now. That's what it felt to me. But that I would like have to lick a now. penis. So what happened? Nikki, but, you're so cute. But I didn't know that. I like it now because I didn't know what what would make you like it. What makes you like it is intimacy and like yeah. and getting turned on and getting things done to you. And like when you get horny, doing disgusting things. Like right now, licking someone's dick sounds disgusting to me because i'm not turned on you know like i can um, you know i'm not like actually viscerally grossed out but horniness makes you stupid and it makes you like not have that filter up of like this is kind of gross yeah did they wash that before I right it, go it all goes out the window this is why people don't put on condoms when they're like i would never not wear a condom and then they start getting horny and all of oh, a sudden yeah. no one asks about a condom condoms have never been invented no one's even <laughs> the all your morals go out the window because you get stupid when you get horny. Um, and I think, yeah, that was. But did Anya, were you, you were a late bloomer. Did you get upset too when you found out your friends were like sucking dicks? Yeah, I remember. Well, I really cried when I found out what sex was and how my parents yeah. did it. I was just like, I can't talk to you guys. Why did you do this? Yes. I'm a product of this. <laughs> yeah. I was just like, this is horrible. It was the worst news ever. Ever. And then when my friends started doing it, I was just like, yeah, I felt alienated and like, am I supposed to do it too? I'm not. I'm not going to do it. And then same thing when I heard that people move out when they're 18. I was like, what the <laughs> fuck? Oh, wow. That's interesting. We have to I didn't move have... out of our homes? I was like, I'll be back when I'm 35. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry. I always knew I could go back. You don't have to move out. That's the thing. Yeah, but, but you, you do have to suck a dick suck someday. It. You do. <laughs> <laughs> like you, you learn. Suck. I mean, this is all in my special banging. But like, you can't get out of that. You can't. If you're a straight yeah. woman, you look at like you can probably last all of high school without giving a blowjob, and it's not the worst thing. I did. I didn't give a blowjob until I was twenty. I think I had sex before nice I gave work. a blowjob. No, twenty one. So I gave a blowjob yeah, after I same. had sex, but I really avoided a blowjob because your mouth is just so different. Your vagina can't taste. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, put a dick down there, but I won't be able to taste it. Um, but eventually I just, I remember my first You're blowjob like, and I just go, I, I gotta get, I gotta, yeah, I gotta, I gotta do this. Like I have to. And then I just got it over with and I was like, it wasn't that bad. It's, it's pretty like coconut annoying. LaCroix. It's annoying. <laughs> it's annoying to do. Yeah, it is annoying. To, I mean, it's like ugh. actually, 
I would say it's not annoying and that it is a huge, if you are not wanting to be penetrated because you just don't feel like getting a UTI, you're not in the mood, you don't feel like coming because that's a whole predic- production. Right. A blowjob is a real quick detour to if, yeah, if, time if to go to bed. It's quick. So oh, right. Yeah. They're not. It's the eat yes. more chicken of sex I don't acts. Remember, but... <laughs> yeah, it is the eat more chicken. It's like a chicken leg, just do it. Eat more dickin. <laughs> D-I-K-K-I. Yeah, if the person's fast. I've been lucky <laughs> that I've been with people ways. who are uh tend to be like sometimes I uh with partners of past who I won't specify, I've been like, Are you a middle schooler? Like or a, <laughs> in high school? Like I've heard about this kind of fastness. Like I should be offended by this. But it's like it's so nice out of someone who's in their forties. Yeah, I think it's it's uh, that's great for everyone. It's awesome. It, it doesn't mean good. I don't like it. I sometimes I just want it to be. I just want to go to bed, sometimes or my, yeah, I already your neck came is once. Already a little. I think tired. guys think <laughs> that women, because we can have multiple orgasms, that we need to have multiple orgasms. Do you guys agree that sometimes men think that? I think they want, yeah, like, the, like as a competition or something. But that, but I think one is enough. Do you agree that one is an? I don't masturbate. Yeah. When I masturbate, I come and I'm done. I'm not oh, like, no, no let's no, keep no. going. You do yeah. keep going. Final thought. Wait, you keep going? Yeah. Wait, do you guys keep going if you masturbate? No, I'm not. I'm 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 a one and done person. Uh, it depends no, on the size, on the what? or like the intensity of orgasm. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. If it's, an, if it's like, if it's like, you a, know, a little aftershock. One. Yeah. Right. I'm like, okay. You'll keep going. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. I've never aftershock. persevered. I, the only way I can do it is if someone forces me to keep going. And then I'm like, okay. And then it's like, oh, whoa, these can get better. But I couldn't force myself. I don't have that kind of perseverance. By the way, we didn't tie up this end yesterday, but because my brother in law was here, my, my brother's f- husband. Um, my brother's husband. That's how I introduced him. I really fucked it up. Um, but I this weekend in Florida, I didn't bring a toy to masturbate with, and so I couldn't. I couldn't come. There's no like. There's no alternative. You can't go back. No, I. I've never gone anywhere <laughs> before that. You didn't. No, it's like it would be like asking someone who has only flown private to go take a train. I don't know <laughs> what you're talking about. I don't even. W- w- people still take trains. I could. If I really you worry about, I watched the do. Last of Us and there's no electricity, and I go, I wouldn't come. If, <laughs> if if cordyceps takes over the world, I'll never come again. Cordyceps. And and by myself, by the way, I can come from penetration and like romance. And like yeah. connection with someone, but by myself, what you would gotta you be do? romantic with yourself. What should I do? Does I want to actually try to come with no equipment? Can you guys give me some advice without it being like like a, a, a yes. podcast where guys are taking their junk out and being like, oh yeah, like I want to make <laughs> this not it's like junk, sexual. Right. <laughs> yeah, uh, it now? depends on how you like it, eh? Well, how do you? How would you do it without? How do you masturbate? Can I ask that? Y- yeah. I would do yeah. I would do uh, fingers on top on top yeah and then what do you do with your fingers just go like that wait what is that wiggle w- wiggle oh, them back and, and forth up, up and down up and down where's your clit in all of this underneath it but where's your clitoral hood it's always I have an any oh so you just keep you go on top of the hood yes okay you keep the hood it, on like shakes it up and there's like whoa 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 and then <laughs> how long do you do that before you are feeling like horned up like because i do that right now and i'm just like i mean honestly nothing huh. i'm just like uh, <laughs> it would take so long it would take a really long time i guess i'm maybe, not, maybe it's i'm not patient enough how long this but your it toys take? are too good i think it's decent no they're gently sucking i mean uh. yes i mean my hitachi oh wand my is insane God. and i only use that for penetrative sex i don't use that alone because it's just too much but the the sucking toys are kind of just like what is it sucking your, your clip goes in it not in it, just it's like on top and it's just like a gentle suck. So it's like the same thing that your finger does, but it's, well, your clit is like a dick. You know that, right? Yes. So it's literally like sucking your dick. But mine's an any. Mine's an any too. But it just like pulls it out. Good. Oh. No, but in a good uh, way. It's on top of the out. hood. It's not too sensitive. It's amazing. Okay. I need, I'm actually getting some sent to me to give away to my friends for Valentine's Day. So I'll give you one. <laughs> Kirsten a, needs one. I've already sent Kirsten one, one, I think. Um, 
Anya, what do you use? Just a hand? What do you two fingers? This is just reminding me of the foot rub I had yesterday, where this poor man for an hour was like <laughs> puffing and puffing, <laughs> sweating, and I was just like, I no, it, we had moved to my shoulders because I did an hour long terrible foot rub with him, and then I was like, can we just do a half hour shoulders and neck? Let's see if this guy can do it. And he was exerting himself so much, sweating, dripping sweat. I Why? felt nothing. Except Nothing. Sorry. I was like, are you serious? He was so bad at it. He just couldn't do it at all. He was doing it all the wrong way. Like maybe he did so you gotta many. Get in there. Yeah, this yeah. oh god, when the, they st- and I would done. just go, stop. I yeah, I go, I'll I, just pay you full. I can't. It just makes me feel icky. That sucks. I'm I, so sorry you had a bad I massage. Hated it. But, but could you do could you guys both ma- masturbate without toys? That's and all I do. That's all I do. Yes. Good for you. What, what about old, porn? Old-timey. I'll sometimes watch some porn. That you helps. Yeah. Can masturbate with no porn and just your hand? Analog. Old school. Wait, no, no. <laughs> analog? Analog. <laughs> analog. Oh, yeah, analog. Well, I need a log, too. It's- oh, I'm you guys sure don't you use firewood? Because <laughs> my log would be a perfect thing to like put. Like, yeah. Wait, so Anya, what's your technique? On, do you lay on your back and just two fingers? Yeah, I'm the same as Taylor, but this I get very stiff. This is why everyone doesn't Everyone's just kind of going, yeah. Oh, you're a stiffy. Okay, you lay stiffly. I like stiffly. to get real, well, my legs, I get them real stiff. Huh. Okay. Do you guys do that? Yes. I know a stiffy. Everyone, everyone a does stiffy. that. Yes. Everyone or like a, knows a, a, laughing. Laughing. a lot of girls do, do that I'm a lot. Stiff. You're stiff? I really? I'm stiff for myself. Too. Yeah, First, that's I would watch thing some... about sex that is not great for me is that I need to like tense up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. Everybody's tense. I, I yes. get loosey goosey. Yeah, it's like Taylor's um, like, ah! I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I'm partying. No, I like, I'm cr- <laughs> trying to cram myself into a little like tube or something. Like, I, oh, my... like Nikki on an airplane, like a shrimp uh, curled well, yeah. up in the window seat. Well, like, look at what I'm doing with my legs right now. You know, like this. Like, I want it to be like tight. Everything You're like fully tense intertwined. And, like, yeah. Um, this is so. Interesting. Wait, do you? So both of you Ugh. on your back, just fingers, or do you like? I need too too much pressure. I need more pressure. I think I don't. I would I need, need someone to like lay on top of me. Just take mm-hmm. your fingers like this, two okay. together, yeah, and and then you just rub back and forth on top of your whatever. How long will badge? this take before I start to like feel like oh I'm gonna come? It depends on your mental state. If you're yeah. horned up, like get really horned up, watch something that you like that gets I you even I want to try to do it with and then be like, thing. just my yeah, brain. Do it. That's your task for this day. I don't think homework. That's happen. <laughs> I think it would take <laughs> hours if I didn't have porn. Uh, hmm. to, because I, do, I jump around, my brain jumps around too much. I can't stay on one oh, fantasy. Sometimes I think about like what I'm going to do later that day. And really? then it just happens anyway. Noah, yeah, you're too. watching I'm porn like, most of the time, laundry. Noah. Mm-hmm. Um, it sometimes like I ha- it, and you know, then it's like an hour later. You know, like I find something that I like. But I wanted to add, yes. So I don't really do the same method that Anya and Taylor do. Like I'll okay. take my my two fingers and I'll I'll bring them in, and then I use my palm on my clit. Oh, that's good I too. like that. Wait, you've that's done that too, another. Anya? Yeah, you can do all kinds of stuff. No, and this is you, why and, and no one knows because everyone's so vague about it and weird about it. And they go, yeah, sure. Like, be specific. What do you do? Okay, wait. Well, and everybody's knows. different, Nikki. Okay. Let me but give do you, you do one more claw, thing. Do you do a claw like this? Like, come hither or do you jab it? Like, you're um, fucking I probably, I kind I've of do done the claw. 12 things before. I kind of do the claw, but you have to look like inside of your <laughs> vagina, like where the opening is. You have to stick okay. your fingers in. And find like something that feels like a soft walnut. Bubble gum. Oh yes, yes. Like chewed up gum is what I've yes, heard. Yes, and you Ooh. have to play with that. Okay, and that will give you like an internal is that orgasm. The spot? It's not just from the your soft clitoris. Walnut. That's yeah. like the G. I think that's the G spot. It, it, yes. it feels different. The, we didn't yes. know it, but yes. we stumbled into a we know nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Female I don't pleasure go center. I don't like. I used to in. masturbate no. that way. Scary. What made when you I stop? Was, well, when I was younger, I used to always be on my stomach. And that's how I had my first orgasm. Then when I was like 15, I put something in there and I was like, oh my God, I had the most <laughs> incredible, huge body orgasm. And I was like, oh, that's because I touched you start masturbating? my G-spot. 
Probably when I was like 10. Wait. Whoa. What about you, Noah? Or no, uh, six, like seven. Like t- 10 what? also with my friend's what? mom's I'm so ma- back massager. Oh, I didn't know I was God. masturbating. I was just like, this feels amazing. That's not fair. This is, sh- this is I'm getting triggered again. Like, I'm going to cry. Oh, no, because I'm like me. so it's not jealous good. that everyone it's else. Not, it's not a good thing. It's because it's we were good. watching porn. We were watching women on Playboy do it. And then we're like, oh, oh maybe look, it's a, this back but massager is like that. I watched women on Playboy in eighth grade. And oh. I didn't masturbate until I was like 31. How 31? Did, I, didn't ma- I didn't come until the X Factor ride. No, first time I came was <laughs> Pete Lee. <laughs> In 2000, oh, shout out six. I didn't know that. Good job. Yeah, 2006. I was 22, t- about to be 22. It was the first time I ever came. Uh, Pete Lee went down on me, and I think uh, he's engaged now. I'm sure his wife to be doesn't want to hear this, but it is true. <laughs> and I look at him as a friend now. I don't even, but he, it, I think we've talked about it before on my show. That was my first orgasm, and I was like, what? And then I fell in love with him. I didn't need to be in love with him, but I did because it was so, I did never experienced that feeling from myself, from anything before. Mm. And then I didn't again until that roller coaster. And then I think after that, and then I got a boyfriend in, when I was 24, and then I, then I started coming a lot. And then, it, you know, that, that since then it's been okay. But I got to get back to this. I need to get a log. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> get a log. You got to get an axe time. a lot. I can't believe all the stuff I need. It just makes me kind of sad for myself. And also, I mean, I know we don't have time, but when do you get to masturbate if you live with your partner? Because that is a thing I'm worried about is that I will never get to masturbate if I live with someone. When they ain't home. But what yeah. if they yep. can't walk in on it or something? They'll be like, hell yeah. I mean, I, just, I know they'd happens. be hell yeah. And, and my boyfriend is not threatened by masturbating at all, but it just yeah. feels like a little bit like... If a guy wanted to jerk off instead of fuck you, wouldn't you be like, um, I'd be like, what? hey, you're supposed to save that. Yeah. Like, yeah. Can I like, watch? I actually wouldn't. I'd be like, can I watch? I know. And yeah. Well, that's I've true. said that before. And persons I've been with in the past that I won't say specifically who have been like, I would never in a million years. If you saw me jerk off, I'd have to like never what? talk to you again because it's so grotesque and it's just grotesque. so oh, we and i'm like see. i would literally yeah, pay ten thousand dollars for cctv they're like a footage gargoyle? of you they no, they're just, it's like a shameful like, act like <sighs> you know catholicism so vulnerable. i think that men are so yeah. vulnerable and so uh, like gross but out. maybe they do something weird like maybe they use some no. cantaloupe or this something. this person didn't do anything weird he just was like I just go like, what's your style? Like, he kind of like showed me and he was like, I can't even show, like it's just too, it's just the idea of it. Huh. But yeah, it, are there I'm times the where you're like, I wish I could jerk off, but my boyfriend is here or my fiance is yes. here? Yes. Yeah, yeah, really? Yeah. Just do it next yeah. to him probably. Oh, yeah. I want to be alone yeah. all the time. Okay, <laughs> that's a good point. Okay, this makes me feel me, better. To me, it's like somebody being like, can I watch you in the bathroom? It's like, no, leave me alone. This is my time. Yes. Yeah. No but I don't, I don't also, but if, but the bathroom is different. You can't like bathroom with someone. Like I'm not gonna be like mad at Chris. I know You're people going that to take go baths pee. Together. I want to pee with you. Me like and my sister used to sit on the toilet and pee together. It was called Humpty Dumpty. We'll <laughs> <laughs> okay. unpack that next week. Thank you so much for listening to the, the podcast. Thank you for being here, Taylor. Again, you're so awesome. For having me. <laughs> um, thank you, Noah. Thank you, Anya. You guys have a great weekend. I am not on tour this weekend, but next week I'm I'm back out. I forget where I am. Anya, do you remember where oh, we wait, are wait, next I weekend? Have- I have it. I Thank you. Okay. Greensboro, I think. Bloomington. Or no, Durham. Bloomington, mm. Indiana. Yes. Newport. Bloom and Lexington. Newport, Kentucky. Yeah. Oh my God. Lexington, Newport, Kentucky, and Bloomington all next next weekend. So come oh out to those shows. Kentucky. Shows tickets available. And I'm also going to be in Europe very soon in May. So many dates from Tel Aviv, and we're adding an Athens date. Uh, we're gonna be in London. We're gonna be in um, uh, Berlin. Vienna. We're gonna be in Vienna. We're oh gonna be. God. It's gonna be nuts, and Wild. I can't wait to go over there. So please come Stockholm. see us. Um, Stockholm, come stalk me in Stockholm. Uh, yes, <laughs> and you're at the All Venetian with David Spade in Las Vegas. Oh yeah, and then Ve- uh, David Spade and I have a little bit of a residency for weekends out of this year. What? And uh, you can check out those um, on NikkiGlazer.com and those. Uh, so plan a weekend in Vegas and come see me in, in Spade at the Venetian. All right, guys. Thank you for listening. We will see you next week. Have a good weekend. Uh, don't be good. And jack off with just your hand. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Over my clit. 